After a very quiet, somber visit to the cathedral in broad daylight, with almost little to no zombies, to be extremely honest, Waldo reached the peak of the cathedral and was peaked almost immediately from the interesting sight he saw to the west. A huge, massive outgrowing of crystals, colors, and shades. He had no idea. It was almost instinctual for him to want to go there, like a drive, to say the very least. So Waldo obviously had no idea how to get there. He was trying to figure out a pathway to get there. Then he coincidentally, well, for anyone, but very coincidentally for Waldo, found a map. Specifically for gas stations and just convenience overall for a journey, but might fully in the right direction for what he is looking for. But other than that, though, everybody, welcome back to episode 10 of Waldo Worthless with No Hope. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut right to it right now. We're going to be basically heading right towards the crystal outgrowing that we saw from last episode. That big old mess uh, over here. Also, I did get the auto notes optimized. Uh, yeah, Yes, I'm an idiot. I'm not afraid to admit it. It's literally right here. You know, I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm a bit blind when it comes to the new stuff. Uh, you know, keep in mind, I'm a very old player, the boomer here. Sorry, everybody. Uh, but yeah, other than that, though, everybody, we are going to get right to it. We're just going to be doing a little bit of exploring, making sure we're not going to get ourselves killed. And yeah, we're just going to try to head towards the outcrop. We know a way, possibly, I'm going to keep that very clear, possibly, to get there with relative ease. But, you know, we got to see for ourselves. So I will see you all when that happens. Alrighty, everybody, we are starting to enter some pretty dangerous shit. So we're just going to be smart about this. And we're just going to take this slow, right? There's absolutely no shame in what we're doing. <laughs> I, I feel like, anyways. Oh, fuck. <gasps> okay, so it is through the road. We got to go through the road. Okay, noted, noted, noted. That does, that does put a wrench in my plans. But, you know, it is what it is. And we must adapt and survive. Simply put. What? I don't like it here. Uh, I'm just going to be very, very honest. Oh, actually, well, I like this. What's in here? Oh, Mexican cuisine. A quilt? Eh, I won't bother with that. Uh, nothing of actual value, I feel. Oh, fucking smoked meat, huh? Oh, we'll definitely eat that really quick. You know, might as well just eat any meat that you find. You know, totally not a dangerous thing to do in real life. Come on. That'd be crazy. Ah, oh, fuck, Dermatex. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna be we're just gonna be extremely, extremely careful here. And yeah, I'm just gonna speed this up in case uh, anything happens. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we found a minefield. And I am not excited. Oh! Ah. Uh, okay, everybody. We may have found something a little bit more interesting than I thought. Um. This is a, di a di dire wolf? Di dire wolf? Oh, uh, you know what? Oh my god, what the fuck am I looking at here? Uh, a megafauna wood fox. That's, that precary boar is going to become an issue. Large. This is this is this is. Okay, get inside. That's fine. And we're going to talk to this chemist. Hello. Uh, who are you? I used to be a chemist. Well, I am a chemist. I've been living out here in the wilderness for a little while now. Since the end of the world, even brought my some of my oh ever since. Wow, a little while now since the end of the world. Even brought some of my equipment, though unfortunately missing some of the vital, more sensitive and expensive stuff. Wow, I'm absolutely stupid right now. I found a couple of useful things here in the cupboards, but other than that, entirely empty. So I moved in. Hmm. Brewed anything new lately? All right, all right. Care to trade? Are you selling a... Oh. 
Oh, Tramadol's not bad either. What, what do we got to sell? I'm certain we got like some cigarettes, right? Cigarettes are absolutely bank. I also need to get some inhalers. I gotta really get an inhaler. Ooh, this Tramadol would be really nice though. I don't want to sell anything though. I got nothing to sell. Ain't that a shame. We'll worry about that later on. Can I just take this? Yes. Okay, so that's how that works. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. He's not gonna. He's not gonna. He's not gonna. He's not gonna care, right? Ah, fuck him. Oh, the direwolves are very upset. Sorry, man. It's going to be an absolute clusterfuck on the way back. We're going to have to deal with those on the way back. I'm just, yeah. Let's just cut through here real nice and slow. Oh my god, is that a wasp nest? Dude, what is that? Oh, dude, of course the... The only way to adventure... Oh, we pissed it off. We, we madly pissed it off. Oh, stay mad, stay mad. Can we take out a- can we take on a wa- I'm pretty sure we shoot the fucking wa- it's a wasp, dude. Huh? Okay, I guess I took the mag out. That's fine, I'm just an idiot. No, we just run, we just run. Yeah, I, I don't know what I don't know what it was doing. It was just standing there, and I held the button down because it was taking too long. All right, come on, come on. Seriously? Wow. Uh, okay, that's good to know. Can we stab it with a spear? It is a lot slower than it used to be, though. Okay, maybe I should have my backpack on. Alright, there we go. Okay, that's... They're still as annoying as ever. Yes. Let's kill that centipede too. I do not want that come... Where are the direwolves? Whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll just drop the backpack in case... A uh, dermatech, dude? Oh my god. This game just wants me to die. <laughs> I thought, I thought we could actually loot that stuff, but uh, no, no, it's considered stealing. But it make, makes sense, though. It's his shit. You know, he was there. I'm just curious. I actually never I never tried looting the chemist's house before. It just came to mind. I was like, oh, well, I mean, it's, it's not marked. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to be careful through here, obviously, because this is lovely in danger. There's dire wolves to the north. It's uh, not great. Okay, what is this now? I don't think it's anything I care about. Because I only have the auto notes for things I, I care about. Actually, do I even have them actually enabled? Like, big time. Yes, they are both on... Very good. Other than that, though, I think this should be a pretty clear... Uh, line of sight? Okay, let's go. Okay, okay, dude, that's toxic. You're going to put fog on me right now, dude? That's toxic. Kind of like the big vision. Oh, it's it's it's, uh, it's scripted. I I have a button that that toggles fog to make things more intense. You know, it's all about uh, viewer retention, after all. You know, this is. <laughs> uh, but honestly, this this sucks. I'm I'm not a fan of the fog right now. Get yeah, crack. Okay. Okay, that's that's not great. That I, I just saw that. That's I think I made a terrible choice. 
How fast are they? They are all moving as a pack, dude. I mean... <sighs> we have painkillers. <laughs> it's kind of all I needed to hear. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Wait a minute. <sighs> God gave me a gift and it's being stupid and I'm going to use it. There's a tree up to the north. <laughs> God gave me a gift. It was being stupid. There's always sacrifices worthy of taking. Thank you, Flame Resistant Suit, for being my prayer in a time of need. Get fucked. <laughs> okay. Okay, so immediately, Waldo is very much aware that there was a bunch of these crazy fucking people with, like, crazy abilities charging at him. And, yeah. Oh! <gasps> And so he finds another one of those strange crystals, right? Oh my god, that is absolutely massive. You know what? I think, and you know, out of instinct, he looks at it. Uh, where is it? Oh, dude, I'm pretty sure we have a black one. I remember picking that up. I hope I'm not getting one of those weird moments where I'm, I'm remembering things from other characters, but I do remember picking up a black one. It's been a couple of days since I've recorded. I'm not afraid to admit this, but immediately he gazes upon into the red crystal. You gaze into the strange crystal and all the light slowly grows brighter. The crystal begins glowing, the faint light at its core gradually brightening. First, shedding light on your surroundings and then throwing everything into sharp relief. As it blazes in your head, it begins growing, slowly warming, slowly warming the warmth spreads down your arms and across your entire body, filling it with a comfortable heat. And then air around you takes on heat and the light. The air wavers like a summer haze, but even as it sparks and flames uh, dance on the air, you feel only a comfortable warmth. You reach out free hand, letting the fire play between your fingers. And when the crystal glow dims and fades into nothing, you don't even notice. Okay. Oh, I actually completely forgot. It becomes a black crystal anyways. Oh my God. So it doesn't even, yeah, it doesn't even matter. I thought we have a black crystal, but it doesn't even fucking matter. We, we just got one for free. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Congratulations, Baldo. Fight fire with fire, as they say. A grenade for magic powers. What a trade, if you ask me. That was horrifying. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. That was... I, I, wasn't, I wasn't risking it. Nope. Just... Nah. <laughs> I don't need to. I, I got a grenade. Uh, but I mean, we might as well check out... You know, I'm, I'm keeping the gun out. I'm keeping the gun out. That would be a very dumb idea not to have. <sighs> okay, so we're definitely going to have to figure out how this works. Quell fire? You can extinguish it. Brilliant flash? How does this work? Does this do damage? Cast through walls. Sick. Okay, noted. Okay, so we got ourselves a couple of strange things here. We got ourselves some weird alien-like creatures as Waldo walks into this area. This is some form of eldritch monstrosity, an uncouth black being with smooth, oily skin, and unpleasant horns that curve inward towards each other. Tall and thin, the shadows cling unnaturally to its vaguely defined humanoid form as it shuffles along. It's hands twitching, and we can actually, do not worry, uh, I have the true way to check. 
Shad switching and spasm so rapidly as to appear a little more than a black burr of claws. Despite the night terror-esque appearance, it doesn't appear aggressive. Very nice. Great. Uh, and then we see another alien-like life form. Your mind can't decide if this is a vast structure or an endless swarm of tiny flying sharp things. The only thing you know for sure is that it is far too large to fit in the space it occupies. So yeah. Other than that, though, he is going to get a look around this area. Oh, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, get the fuck out. Good. Okay, so we do not know what happened out of a panic. We kind of just ran away. To be fair, though, it was very, very fair. I do want to see if there's any... There's nothing in the... There's absolutely nothing in the water. Because if I... You know what? Fuck. Fuck it, dude. I'm, oh, fuck it. Yeah. Swimming in the water out of instinct, and there's nothing in it. That's perfectly fine with me. You know, it was worthy. He, he's he's a t connected with this place. Alright, so we got all these weird alien-like trees. A large alien plant. It looks like a series of bulbous mushrooms that have all grown together at space, rising into a flaring series of branches that curve up before hanging down and ending in the reddish-brown spheres. Interesting. Very interesting. Very similar to the fungus. Hmm. The flames surrounding you gutter out. What do you mean? Oh! You naturally heat the air around you. You're slightly making it more comfortable in the cold. It also helps you from getting too wet. I hope that didn't make me hot. Oh god, I didn't re I didn't even realize. Oh no. This might have been the worst decision ever. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, we are a fire caster, it seems now. Uh, we should be resistant to heat, in all honesty. I'm just going to say that. Oh my god, we got some bad heat slow down right now. It might just be a hot day, but I don't think so. I think I think we got a little bit toasty because we became a fire person. Uh, noted. Very much noted. That's new to me. Uh, again, I, I only tested one of them. <laughs> just to see how it works. So, uh, But Waldo has no idea what the fuck is going on. Can I, like, cool off by being in the water? Okay, let's do that. Let's do this really quick. Let's just let's just get in there. I don't think that made a fucking difference. Alright, whatever. I don't care. Ah, who cares, right? Doesn't matter. 24 degrees right now? No, shot. I don't believe that at all. I think, I think we just became... We're just not very good at controlling our heat. We're not a proper... Can I cancel this effect? Uh... Oh, I cannot activate. Damn, I really hope that's not making me extra hot, because that is... Sucks, if that's true. Honestly, that is... Of course, Waldo would get the one that sucks. <laughs> I, I could not care less, but fire is very nice to have. So, I'm not going to complain, you know? We got a little bit of damage from the shrapnel, but to be fair, I'm amazed we're even alive from that. That was stupid. I, I was very aggressive. I should have been way, way slower in proceeding with that, but... Alright. Let's try casting. Can we, like, actually... No. Because my focus is too low. I'm definitely going to have to work on that. I would like to get that fire damage going. That would be pretty... That thing wants me dead. It wants my flesh. 
What is that? A tadpole. I don't care. Let's get the fuck out of here, dude. Oh, you stupid fucking thing, dude. Nobody gives a shit, stupid ass. Where's the dire wolf? I need to know these answers. Okay. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, I don't want to be using guns on a fucking pig. I just want to stab it once. Alright. I guess it wanted to die then. Fine with me. I don't care. Rot for all I give a damn. We're gonna try to avoid these dire wolves. They don't see me from there, thankfully. Honestly, to be fair, zombie beavers to slowly chip them down would not be a terrible idea. What stings? I have a poison wound? Oh yeah, because of the fucking... Yeah, let's just let's, let's get that blood in. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're making a big deal out about nothing. Let's get back to base. And we're gonna see if we can improve our magic... Newfound magic powers. Uh, those minefields, I feel like, are gonna fucking be the end of me. No thanks. Okay, this is absolutely awful but amazing at the same time that was way better than i thought that was gonna be holy shit <laughs> god damn i really was not expecting that I, I was expecting just getting like six flaming eyes just to eat my soul to be extremely honest but you know waldo though is very very uh very keen on finding more of those in the future clearly there are some more secrets to this world than even he thought that was very, that grenade was huge. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I've been hit by the burners before. They, they hurt. They really hurt, actually. Uh, let's ignore you. I don't care. Let's ignore you again. Let's head back and drop this stuff off, though. Another night. I'll see you all when we get back. Oh, we, looks like we moved some hordes with the grenade. Very good to know. Uh, obviously, this was expected. They are actually heading in that direction, it seems. Let's turn off safe mode for now. I don't think that matters right this second. We'll even bait the zombies on the land. You know, we'll just get rid of them before they become an actual issue. And just like that, problem solved for now. Oh! Uh, not entirely. No problem solved for now. Okay. It seems like we do have a bit more zombies than I expected moving around. But to be fair, a grenade is very loud whenever you detonate those. That usually causes a couple of hordes to run all over the place. Just from my experience. But we are back at town. I just want to see if we do have a black crystal. I remember picking one up, and I just don't want to sound like a delusional uh, schizophrenic. I, I, I hope I'm not remembering things wrong, but I probably am. Okay. Oh, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. It was bothering me, okay? Cut me some slack. It's been a while, all right? I don't like giving false information, even if it's accidental. So, let us load that magazine up. Let's drop this one, drop this one. We will load this up. Yeah, but I'm just going to speed this up, and I'm going to see if there's anything for us to do right now, because we're not really hurt, but uh, we, we might do some work, right? We might do some clearing out of, of the northern area, right? There's a lot of doctor's offices. Some fungal medicine would be kind of nice, right, right? Uh, but yeah, we're going to be seeing what we can do, but I'm just going to get ready for that really quick. 
Alrighty, I did a little bit of contemplation with our magic powers, and we are getting extremely toasty. It must be just a hot day, because, yeah, it's it's a little spicy right now. We got briefs on. Let's get those briefs off. It's a little bit too hot to be wearing extra clothes. I mean, it's, it's the apocalypse. I don't think anybody cares if we're running out nude anyways. <laughs> But yeah, let us head deeper up to the northern part of town. I do want to actually use this broken-ass knife spear, though, because since we have two broken knife spears, why not? And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all when we... Okay! Thank you very much. That is very nice. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I'll see you up north. Alrighty, we are in the northern part of town. Uh, we're just going to be, obviously, fighting these zombies in this area. Duh. And, yeah, we're just going to be looking for more flame-resistant stuff. Maybe some turnip? I mean, it, it is an outer piece, but, ah, whatever. We'll take it. We'll take it. I don't care. I'm not too picky with what I loot, anyways. Alright, let's back up, because they are doing damage to us. Surprising that they still can, honestly. Uh, let's drop the backpack. I think that's gonna cause some issues. Oh, yeah. Let's cause a little bit of a, a kerfuffle. There we go, here we go. That's how we get everybody inside. Alright, let them actually waste all that precious time getting in here. That's incredible. Feral human down. Very nice. That was a very nice holdout. Wow. Yeah, Waldo is much, much better now. He is totally capable as a fighter. I mean, he's still not, like, broken. You know, he's still not... All right, we are getting... We have to get out of that really quick. Take it a bit more... I thought that SWAT would be dead by now, but that's more like it. I got a little bit overconfident there. It happens. It happens. <laughs> okay. Where's that soldier? Where's that soldier at? Okay. He's lootable? Nice. I didn't even know. Now, this is basically uncharted territory, it feels like. There we go. Three spaces. Oh, we're, we're having a little bit of time wasted because of our spear's quality, but it's our choice. Okay, let's get the fuck out of Dodge. His armor is kicking my ass right now. Okay. Oh, yeah, we back for it, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, we back for it. Think it's over like that? If only it was that simple for you. Let's go, baby. Back at it again. Round two. I think we also did some bleeding to him. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Very good stuff. Yeah, definitely Waldo has improved drastically, to be extremely honest. That's just a fact. And let us start uh, moving up, I guess. We'll, we'll, we'll loot the, the zombie soldiers and the big boy stuff, obviously, because that is pretty nice. And the knives. I definitely do want to start collecting the knives because we seem we could use them for knife spears and for selling. They're actually worth a pretty good amount. Nothing incredible, mind you, but still, you know, it, all, it always adds up. It's good to do some trading whenever we can. And yeah, other than that, let us see what is up to the north. Literally, not that much loot on these people. I guess fire doesn't really matter anymore, right? Because we are a pyrokinetic. Uh, pyrokinesis? Pyrokinetic, okay. At least I actually remember what the hell the word was. <laughs> At least I don't get to embarrass myself that fucking badly. I'm not afraid to admit I'm an absolute noob to the Mind Over Matter mod, but I like the semi-new experience. I just want to know how to get it working, and that's how you get it working. So far. So far. But let us see what's in this clothing store. Just really quick. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's try to do the little nasty trick. 
Perfect. Shopping carts in here. I actually will mark that down. Carts. And keep that in mind for really big jobs. Uh, no back entrance, to be fair. Kind of makes sense. It is a clothing store after all. Uh, crawling zombie. I completely walk past it. And there we go. Just a couple more zombies cleaned up. Yeah, we we are man, Waldo. You are you are badass now. <laughs> All right, the doctor's office. There's an ancient bison here. What the fuck? I guess there was ferals in here. There's a lot of doors open. Okay, that door is locked. That door is locked. I guess it's plank time. Close that window. That's fine. I did not mean to press that key. Nothing. God damn, dude, brutal. Oh, it's safes. I mean, that's not super bad. It's good to know for the future, but damn, it's not the doctor's office I wanted. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We can't make a... No, it's fine. It sucks, but it is perfectly a-okay. It happens. You know, we can't win them all. We can't get this unlucky, you know? Can't have everything. We already got psychic powers. I can't complain. Uh, ancient bison causing a literal troll. That's perfectly fine. Can't break that door open. The bison is absolutely trolling right now. Which is perfect. Because that lets us just run in and get an extra inhaler. Very nice. A stethoscope and a scalpel. Very good. It's good to have extras of those, I always find. Because I always tend to forget them. Uh, that door is locked, that door is locked, that door is locked. Same same layout. So these two doctor's offices have safe. Safes. But other than that, they are fully looted. Oh. Quite a few zombies. Let's drop the backpacks. We have a lot more luck. Like that. Reduces the chances for us to get annoyed. Start running. Three spaces. We gotta respect it. We can only fight like a Giga Chad. We have fully repaired weapons, which kind of makes sense. Because this is shit. Ah. Nice. Nice and easy. A lot of... Man, Aldo, you are just so good at killing shit now. I never thought he was gonna be good at it. I, I thought uh, I thought we were gonna be like just stun locked like that forever. To be extremely honest. Uh, some food, I guess. I do want to make another knife spear since we are here at home, anyways. I want to get myself a little bit more beat up or be a little bit more greedy while looting. We got the health pool and the armor to afford it, so. Oh, was that a... Oh, perfect. It's for a quest. That's really, really good. This is a different type of medical clip. Oh, that's an inhaler. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we need. A broom, a dish towel. Unread memory cards. That's perfectly fine. An RPG die. I think I already have one, but it doesn't hurt to just grab another. Oh, what's your computer's at? Ah, zero. My favorite. <laughs> uh, heartburn might be okay for the future, but that's really good to... I mean, theoretically, I could just get a jackhammer. Right? I mean, that's... It's a little bit unprofessional, but well, well, we'll see. What is this, dude? I don't like this house. 
That house is 100% not worth it. Yeah. Now nah, there's some bullshit going on in that house. I know there's. I know there's. Uh, that house is way too prepped. Yeah. Even 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 Waldo wouldn't want to go in there, dude. That is for sure a prepped house. Fuck that. We'll go there when we're prepared. Uh, prepped, possibly trapped house. We'll do a big old H. Do red for a prepped house. And then I kind of want to get in there, though. Uh, what's in here now? A post office. It's illegal. We can't, we can't go into a post office. It's illegal. What the hell? Why is there a metal door here? Whatever. I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking question it. I don't care. <laughs> what do I know? I'm gonna post office man. It's a lot of safes though. Let's go. Ooh, is there anything? Nope, nothing in the vending machine. Tough. Alright, next area. Yeah, nice little bit of loot though. I'm quite surprised before we head back up. Uh, coffee shop? Oh, wait a minute. We might get really, really lucky here. Damn it. It was worth a shot. <laughs> you never know when we can get like an atomic coffee maker. You know, everyone wants one of those. I'm sure Waldo was a big fan of those when they were out. You know, ooh, coffee? I never need to leave the house? I could just, I don't even need to get power. I just keep making coffee? Crazy. For an otaku, that's a life changer. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had a little bit of a cough sneak in. Again, nothing in that building. I don't really care about it. The coffee shop, I think, was looted. Yup. And then what's this place? An animal shelter. I don't think there's going to be anything good in there. But prove me wrong. A ferret. A chicken. Oh, oh now we're talking. Feral fighting? What the the fuck even is that i have i've never seen that book in my life that's probably something crazy and i'm just like doo, 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 doo. i have no idea what i'm doing oh, 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 oh. canine bite suit yo 50 warmth up oh. fuck that dude and it's made out of kevlar though eh, well how heavy is it that's fine. There we go. There we go, both. Ow. I, I, I forgot. I'm, oh, okay, this is a bad idea. Drop the backpack. There we go. That's what I wanted to do, but... Whew. Got a little bit unlucky with that. Holy cow, was not expecting that. Another bite suit? A pet carrier might be sick, actually. Wait a minute. Isn't there... Wait a minute. Oh, I think we have a goal. I remember something. Wasn't there... A cat? <laughs> Oh my god. Psychic powers and getting a pet cat. Is this really the episode? Is this really what Waldo was going to end up making as the 10th episode? Is getting a pet cat and powers? Oh, there's the fungus. Son of a bitch. It's right fucking there. That explains it. Yup. Yup. That's right fucking there. Holy shit. Yeah, I remember now. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll take the pet carrier. Uh, we'll drop one of the bite suits, because I don't care. Pet carrier. I think we can drop that. Alright, let's drop the backpack, and let's get to work. What is that? Oh god, I've I've no a diesel engine? Oh my god, a straight up I4 diesel. 
That is crazy. This is actually kind of crazy, this episode. This has been really fucking nice. <laughs> oh, jeez. A pet carrier. Yes, please. I will be definitely taking a pet cat. Let's go around. I made a terrible mistake. Fine. We could save that cat, finally. Finally. We could do something important. It only took us 10 episodes to find an incredible goal, such as getting the pet. To be fair, though, having a pet cat in the apocalypse would be kind of dope. Oh, that's a Bargus. Uh, I'm, like, entering a really shitty area for some reason. What the fuck is going on? But I do kind of want to drop this backpack and deal with that dog. Or should I say army of dogs? Oh my god, that's a ton of logs. Wait a minute, was that a ton of sticks that I just saw? Did you just did you just show me an army of sticks? Oh no, no long sticks. I'm so devastated. Uh yo, commercial fertilizer. Okay, this has gotta be some crazy shit going on in here. Yeah, we can definitely I should start planting stuff. Do I have seeds? I don't think Waldo has found any seeds ever. Uh zombies galore though. Noted. Alright, let's get this backpack. And yeah, I'm just gonna speed this up and I'll see you all when we get back. That is fucking huge. Just a tough zombie there. I didn't actually see it get so close to me, but I'm just I'm just playing really risky right now. I'm excited. I tend to do stupider stuff when I'm excited, you know, like just like a just like a, you know, Waldo is such a true, like, isekai protagonist. Dumber than a bag of bricks. Oh, yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but yes, anyways, let us bandage up. Sorry about that, everybody. I just had to make sure I found what I needed. We do have the antiseptic powder, which will help significantly. It was a very good idea to loot those, because we definitely needed some antiseptic to start healing uh, a lot quicker, to say the least. But yeah, other than that though, everybody, I think we're just going to heal up, get some stuff made. It was, a, it was a pretty good little bit of a looting run. Again, we're not trying to do anything too crazy. We do want to save that cat though. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, one second. Let's figure that out. All right, we got the bites. We got the, the canine bite suits. All this weird shit that we don't care about. Blah, blah, blah. And anything else? We got the RPG die. We got the extra bayonets. We got the scalpel, black crystal. We'll ditch the food. Uh, we found a bunch of inhalers, which is perfect. I want those rather than the full one. It's really. I'm not complaining. We're getting inhalers is fucking fantastic. <laughs> it's just, you know, we gotta be. We gotta be smart. We gotta use the shitty ones first. It's just how, it's just that easy. <laughs> uh, two handguns. We got the PDW, because I'm not trusting it. Let's read that feral fighting, actually. Okay, let's just read all these books really quick. Might as well. Because this might actually bump us up pretty quick if we can pull this off. Alrighty, everybody, we are done that. Let us get a pet. Oh, did I? I left the pet carrier? <gasps> I have no idea where that is. I'm serious. I have not a single fucking idea where I dropped that pet carrier. I thought I had it. No. No, 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 no. 
How could I have been so foolish? All right, I'm going to do a little bit of a speed run here. I'm going to see if I can run back to it really fast. I'm pretty sure it's at the, the animal shelter because... Oh, I'd be so devastated if I lost that. At least I have the backpack. That's one thing I had a bad issue with is the backpacks. But at least I remember that, not the pet carrier. Where the fuck? There it is. Excellent. Okay, we still have it. Good, 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 good. All right, everybody. Looks like we're going to do ourselves a night raid to the fungal town to get that cat. I'm not ending the episode now. Silence alarm. We got ourselves a cat to save. This is more important than anything to Waldo, okay? We got magic powers. Now, a magic powers obviously needs to have a pet, all right? This is how mangas work. The hero gets a pet, all right? It's just how it works. <laughs> so stupid, but it fucking fits, and I hate it. <laughs> yes, the one can of cat food. Do we have anything else? Wet dog food. Eh, well, you never know. We might get ourselves a booch as well. I definitely wouldn't mind that. And other than that, though, everybody, let us see if we can save this cat. Alrighty, everybody, I'm turning the headlamp on for a bit. Because I know this area is a little bit uh, nefarious. Ancient Bison is fine, I'm not really worried about that. Solar car is going to be really helpful in the future, I just want everyone to know that. <laughs> uh, but it's all quiet right now. So it seems. <sighs> All right, let's wear the gas mask as well. We're not covered in we're not covered in spores, thank fucking god. Ah, right, you know what? Fuck this dickhead. Burn, bitch. That's just to get rid of the we got to slowly get rid of the fungus whenever we can. That's why we have our gas mask on right now. It's keeping us alive. Visual representation, we're turning that off. We're too close to the town. Yes, I'm very well aware that he cannot see, but being able to not see is better than stumbling into some one tile away. That's a mushroom. Okay. That's just how I see it. Oh, man. Dude, I didn't even realize this place is still like, absolutely getting destroyed. Oh. Oh. Sight when we need it. Thank you, game. So it takes from us when we are terrified and it gives us whenever we don't need it. Very, very coincidental. Thank you. Thank you very much, Cataclysm. Yes, fog in the death area and whenever we're trying to save a fucking cat. Oh, yeah, here. Here's all the fucking vision of the world. <laughs> <sighs> of course, it is the, the cataclysm helping Waldo. Clearly, clearly. It, it warned him. Why wouldn't it uh, help him try to save a cat?
Uh, I have an idea since these are very, very close. I do want to actually take them out. I have a gas mask. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to trust it. We also have antifungal drugs. So I'm not as worried. And I do want to start taking them out before they become an actual hassle. Okay. Our first fungal kill. Let's start clearing out the fungals. Do not let them attack us. Just simply kill them away from us. We have the mask on. We must utilize it. That's a lot. Bad shit. That's fine. I didn't I should have paid more attention, but it's fine. Alright, let's get the pet carrier. I'm pretty we just put that in our backpack, can't we? I don't even know anymore, and I don't really care. Yes! A black ball of fur with prominent green eyes staring right into your soul. It's a black cat. I forgot it was a black cat. Let's go. And just like that. Yoink. <laughs> oh, we can store in our inventory. Oh, incredible. Let's get the fuck out of it. Wait, wait isn't, isn't there dogs in here? Oh, bad ones. Bad pooches. We got the bad pooches. Okay. Ooh. Alrighty. That's kind of big. I'll have to think of a name for him because uh, this will be way too far ahead recorded before people can start naming the animals. But, I mean, if people do have a name, eventually they will. I guess I, whatever is the most popular one, I'll, I'll name it too. But for the time being, it's just, it is what it is. Let's get our cat out of here. Saved. Very nice. Is there actually, you know, we might as well, fuck it, we're here, right? We might as well check out the base. It's been a minute. Is there anything that we want here? I'm pretty sure there might be some things. Ooh, the food dehydrator might be actually sick. Oh, uh, the electric forge. Yoink. Food dehydrator, yoink. <laughs> uh, anything else that we want? Not really, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really give a fuck. I'm welding goggles, fuck it. We can use those for crafting. Uh, maybe just some of the food that we didn't take. Chocolate bars, hard cheese. I want to take the stuff that's going to go bad pretty soon. The sealed stuff will be fine. No, nah, this has been great. This has been a very, very, very good episode. Uh, a cat has been saved. That is more than enough for me. Uh, is there any good items around here that we kind of care? The guns. Oh my god, I forgot there was shit everywhere here. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't be fucking bothered. I don't care. It's been so long, I don't even remember anymore. Actually, you might have had something nice. Yeah, I don't care. Fuck off. One one bullet in a magazine. Meh. I'll make a big deal about it when I need to make a big deal about it. But yeah, other than that, though, let us head back home. And then we will end the episode off there. That was... And just like that, scripted. You know? The mist returns as soon as we save the, the cat. It's incredible. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a bad place. That's... No, no, no I'll, I'll pass. I'll pass. I think I'll, I'll, I'll actually pass. Uh, but I will burn this before I leave. Get fucking owned. Stupid mushroom. Tired of their bullshit. Has my gas mask gone off at all? Because if it goes off at all, like any usage happens, that means, you know, we got... There was a proc. The mansion might not be a bad idea to raid. No, we must bring the cat home first. The cat is priority. If we die with a cat stuck in a pet carrier, I would feel like shit forever. That's a horrible way to go. Yeah, just stay in our fucking bag. It's it's safer that way. That's literally what Waldo just did. You know, just stay in the bag. At least you'll fucking live. Alright, let us head down this road. Let's turn on our headlamp. 
yes, it is dangerous to do this, but it's also dangerous to not be aware. And at least we can run away if things get bad enough, or pull out a gun. That's kind of what my go-to rule is. Gun or not. Gun or to not gun. Alright, I think that's going to be it for the mushrooms. They are fucked off. Wear the gas mask a little bit more. And yeah, other than that though, I'm, I'm going to see you when we get back to base. And just like that, everybody, we have made it back home. Massive. Absolutely gargantuan. Uh, let us put our kitty up here. Let's get the pet carrier. Okay, do we have like a rope or something? Alright, can we... Yeah, you know what? We will play with the cats. Yes. We got you at our home. You are free. You are safe. Uh, hopefully, we can make a rope of some kind. Uh, I can't make any ropes. Okay, let's do a candle. The cat is perfectly fine. Let us make a short rope, just so we can put the cat in place so we don't have to worry about it running into a fire or something you know like specific uh <laughs> a certain cat <laughs> oh 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 i do love that stuff but it is what it is let's get the short rope going uh where's that you know what the cat being in the corner is perfectly fine that does not bother me i prefer it that way less likely people can see it uh let us Attach leash the cat, and we will tie the cat there. Yeah, I know that sounds awful, but it's it's the cat is still free. It's just it's just tied to the spot, so it won't be running around. Uh, you know, what? let's do that then. I want the cat next to us. Doesn't matter. And then let us make a spear shaft. Yes, and then that's how we're gonna end the episode off. Just because you know it's a good idea to get some stuff like that. Just to make an extra weapon because, you know, we did damage our last spear and I would like to have it prepared before it's not. Let's eat some of this food. Have some of this water. I do need to get some more water, but we got all those tablets, so I'm not really worried about it. And yeah, we're just going to finish this spear shaft up and probably make a couple of arrows. And then see what we could do from there, right? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe we could do medical? I'm not too sure. But let's finish off this knife spear really quick. And we'll use an actual bayonet. Why not? Why the hell not? We'll try it. That spear is now done. Let us drop the big forges. The food. We don't need that anymore too, too much. We'll drop this, this, this. Is there anything else I want to drop? I thought I, I thought I lost a grenade, but I, no, we did lose it in a good way. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> I'm never gonna forget that. Just chuck the grenade. Like I knew it was stupid, but I'm not. I'm not fighting five uh, feral psychasters. That's just not gonna happen. So Waldo is just not that. He's just not that guy. He's not that guy. That's all I'm going to say. He's not that guy. Uh, what is the most damaged part? Ah, it's still very good, though. I don't want to be wasting it. What about... Do we have any just regular old bandages we don't care about? Great. That's perfect. What is our healthcare skill at right now? Can we level you up? No, but we can work on our meditation. I think that's not going to be a bad idea. Yeah, I think that's going to be a great idea. Dancing? <gasps> oh, pfft. Yeah, we're going to do that first. 
that is much better. So that gave us level two in dodging, which is going to help us significantly in combat. Uh, very good. And I guess we could work on meditation. I don't think this uses zombie dog. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, it's it's fake. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll end we'll end the episode off getting one more level in metaphysics. I'm I think I think I'm tired in real life because I'm seeing shit. <laughs> I'm seeing shit that I'm not supposed to see. So yeah, we're just going to do this really, really quick. That's fine. We'll just ignore that. Yeah, so they're just flying into our fucking house, which is kind of funny, honestly. Uh, no. Uh, we'll just level that up to three before I forget. We are tired. We have to keep that in mind, but that is not a big deal. They will fly to our house. Let them. There's nothing we can do about that. But yeah, we got our cat now. We got magic fucking powers that we're going to be working on because we're healing. A little bit anyways. Yes, keep going into our proficiency increases. Uh, did we get to level three? Yes. So what's our meditation at right now? Because th this is all new to me. This is all very new to me. Uh, do we even have it? What? Oh! It doesn't give us a proficiency. That's fine. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, so then let us level up this once. I do want to level up the... Uh, Fountain of Flames. Just a little bit. Spent the time meditating, accomplish power, and merge with new knowledge. So, how does that work? 51% chance to fail? Really? That's fine. Oh, we're just seeing shit. Okay. No, we're not seeing that guy. That guy's very real. Wow. Uh, okay. We'll definitely take that mask filter. Thank you. Weird. Another flame resistant suit. Oh, well, for a very, very loyal follower. Uh, are we just getting like a little mini horde? Yeah, turn off save mode, it's annoying. What the fuck? How the hell did they know I'm here? Whatever, I don't care. We got the cat. That's all I care about. We got the cat. And yeah, let us get some actual sleep. I think this is a great way to end it off because, again, I just keep getting distracted and I have to get off before I just actually never, ever do. So it was an absolute blast, everybody. We will get some sleep with our beautiful, beautiful cat. I hope the cat's hidden, but I have no fucking idea. I don't know how this... Uh, I don't know how pets actually work entirely, but it's fine. And yeah, other than that, though, let's get some sleep and enjoy the night with our lovely little black cat. Uh, that is uh, very orange for some reason, but we'll let it slide. <laughs> and we're just going to rest the day away, get our stats back up, our health back up as much as possible, and then we'll be ending the episode off. But yeah, Waldo has gotten a lot done this episode. He's gotten a companion. He's got his very typical isegai or online manga pet. You know, we all know what we're talking about. The fucking pet that just keep feeding items to that are garbage to the protagonist for whatever reason. I hate that shit. But besides the point, I just know, it is fun. It is fun to get that mindset going with a character because to be very honest, it's kind of funny. I like it. I like it. It doesn't bother me. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a real kick out of Waldo's little bit of RP, but look how fast we're healing now. Oh my god, we actually heal at a quick rate. It, by the way, imperceptive healer is not a difficult perk. All right, I just I do want to I do I just want to let people know, it's it's a good way to get you set yourself out of a comfort zone. That's what I believe. Anyways, got me out of a very big comfort zone, uh, which is basically just healing a gunshot wound a day, which I always disliked. I, always, I like suffering, all right? If I'm going to get shot with a gun, I want to know I got shot with a gun. All right, anyways. That's just my, I guess my masochism is talking. Ignore me. Who cares? Play the game how you want to play. Enjoy it. Enjoy the, it's a video game. Enjoy it. 
Um, and we're just going to finish up our meal. And yeah, other than that, to everybody, it was an absolute blast. Uh, I think I'm, I think I'm going to name him literally Shadow or, or something just like really like typical or something. Fuzzball or, or I, I don't really have a good name for the cat, but we got a cat. And I am very, very fucking happy. So we can actually get rid of that note now. It only took us 10 episodes to finally save the cat, but they're they're quite rare. Uh, actually, I've noticed finding like safe living animals. So we're definitely going to be taking advantage of that. We have plenty of food for this thing. Uh, like in, in 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 like a in a sense we don't we don't need to feed the pet but you know we can do that if we want to but yeah other than that though everybody it was an absolute blast we have achieved a ton we have a couple of items damaged but we've made a new spear and we got ourselves a new flame resistant suit so if you ever lose this one we have a spare which is amazing again I live and die by the flame resistant suit so yeah. Other than that, Waldo will definitely see you all next time. And let's also take off the gas mask because I know I'm going to forget that. But other than that, peace.